Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on A0. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great world. We're going to talk today about A0. I want to start with this. So A0 has a team of the smartest people in the world. Did you know they started the project in 2018? Released it to the public in late of 2021. This is a well-planned innovation project. And Kevin O'Leary says, You have the smartest, brightest men and women from around the world today saying, Screw everything else. I want to work on crypto. You know why they, they're probably saying that? Think about it. You want to be part of gaming, right? So you get into crypto. You want to be part of art. So you get into NFTs inside of crypto. You want to be tied to, you know, you want to work in the metaverse. You're tied to crypto. Crypto is opening up a whole world of possibilities for people. A0 is going to be overlooked by a lot of people. But yet it's a well-rounded cryptocurrency with a lot of upside potential to it. I think we're very early with this crypto, in fact. So A0, Layer 1 blockchain, look at this. DAG-based consensus, secure, near-free transactions, growing ecosystem, 100,000 transactions per second with 0 0.9 second finality, smart contracts, elite team. Then we see this, A0 is the fastest blockchain in the industry. 89,000 transactions per second. Even when A0 reaches Bitcoin's market cap, it will still be less than 1 USD each transaction. Ethereum costed over 100 USD per transaction a couple of months ago. Here's your chance to destroy Ethereum. Now, in the crypto space, you get the Bitcoin maxis who tell you nothing's going to be better or more valuable than Bitcoin. Yet, it's dinosaur technology. Then you have people saying Ethereum is the way. You have to invest in Ethereum if you want to make any kind of money in crypto. Again, outdated technology. At some point or another, Ethereum will most likely never be used. New technology is coming out consistently, improving consistently cryptocurrencies you invest in now are continuing to grow and expand at some point old technology needs to be phased out at some point that will happen in my opinion it's just a matter of time invest in innovation and that's the other thing you got to look at what your cryptocurrency is doing is it building inside crypto winner is the ecosystem getting bigger or partnerships being made what is my crypto doing if you look at your cryptocurrency and it has nothing going on and everything stops during crypto winter you're in the wrong crypto currency a zero are you ready i'm super ready i don't know about you tell the world let them know what's coming smart contracts going live on mainnet soon that's how early we are with a zero that's how early we are. And again, continuing to build, nonstop building. A0, of course, layer one comparison chart. We see Constellation, Adara, Polkadot, Solana. And A0, it, here's what it has going on. This is its benefits over other cryptocurrencies. Exceptional, fast, and secure. Public and private smart contracts. Use cases, Internet of Things, private smart contracts, supply chain management. That's very big. Then we have enterprise adoption is high. Consensus, alpha BFT. Decentralized, yes, large, random. So in some ways, each of these cryptocurrencies are a little bit better than each other. But the thing about it is, when you're investing, you invest in this technology first. Then you look at use case, utility. You look at how it can be used in the real world. When I invested in, uh, in A0, I said to myself, this is a cryptocurrency 
that is very well-rounded and primed to take off in the future. Internet of Things This technology shares data constantly. In order to operate, this data is then stored on the provider's servers. If such a database is centralized, it could be attacked. A0 solves this by creating a decentralized protocol for Internet of Things. Always improving. You got to look at that also. A decentralized protocol for Internet of Things requires a fast and scalable system. Internet of Things has also often been associated with micropayments, but current systems are cost prohibitive, slow and centralized. Unlike current system, Aleph Zero is fast, highly scalable, secure, decentralized, and allows low cost value transfer for any size of transaction. One is, once it is implemented on IoT networks with an open source community, we can collaboratively contribute to any to and produce compelling solutions which cater to devices. So they're fixing Internet of Things also. That's going to be very big soon. Now we can see it sort of being tied to IOTA at some point. But beyond that, we see this, supply chain management. It's the process of creating and distributing goods. It involves payments, invoices, multiple entities responsible for providing service. A0 can solve many problems within the supply chains. And everyone could track down products from its origin easily. I could see A0 tied to IOTA through the Internet of Things, I could also see it being tied to XDC through the supply chain management. Because at some point, all these cryptocurrencies get tied together. We see it happening. Bridges being built. Algo building a bridge for Bitcoin to Flare. We see XDC tied to QNT. Everything is going to be tied to QNT, though, in my opinion, because it's the operating system for the new financial system. It's also going to be the operating system for Web3, in my opinion. So A0 will easily tie to these other cryptocurrencies based on technology and use case and utility. We can see A0 growing. Then we see this, decentralized domain name system. Since DNS providers can monitor internet traffic, they can spy on users and companies' internet usage, which doesn't truly explain decentralization. Aleph Zero can become the foundation for a truly decentralized DNS service. Again, this can be easily tied to Web3, tied to, you know, Metaverse, you know, and, and pretty much industry as a whole. Think about it. Everybody wants security. So building a multi-chain world. Uh, Aleph BFT, an original peer viewing, reviewing DAG-based consensus protocol, cloud, decentralized file storage, private smart contracts, common, decentralized exchange, and a decentralized dark pool, liminal, multi-chain privacy layer, usable across all networks that bridge to Aleph Zero. Substraint integration. Aleph BFT is integrated with the Substraint stack to ensure wider adoption and premier use experience. Oracle, information bridge between the external world and the Aleph Zero ecosystem. See, that's what you want in a cryptocurrency. You want, you know, some sort of way to bridge other things together and it adds value to your cryptocurrency and that's what all of the iso coins have going on also i could see a0 being a you know brought in as part of the new financial system it has the speed it has the technology it has the security plus it deals with a lot of transactions and anytime you look at the ISO coins, one thing they have in common is transactions. Everyone knows transactions are very big in the crypto space. But I believe A0 were very early on yet. I think we're very 
it's almost like in its infancy stage. As it grows, it's going to become something very big. And a lot of people are going to miss out on it. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.